what's up motor brats it's spiritual god here and welcome to part 3 of what if goku married android 18 so the previous part would be well in the link in the description below or the icons up above so you can just go check it out but yeah so in the previous series of what if goku married android 18 which i like discontinued and stuff this was the last part i made like part 3 and the part 3 was mostly like a recap with some additional information on it but since i'm not going to do recaps and stuff because i really didn't know how the hell i was going to continue this topic during that time because this was this was and is currently my most uh, favorite or not my favorite but my youtube's uh, my channel's most viewed video and series so yeah i'm not just going to abandon it plus i have plus i have developed from that time so I can make much more interesting ideas in my brain and uh, logical ones instead of stupid things like uh, uh, Android 18 or La Lazuli getting programmed to love Goku or how Goku, uh, how the Sun family with new members that being well Lapis and Lazuli instead of Chi Chi. Uh, how they go to King Kai, get the Kaioken unlocked, hell, even Gohan gets Kaioken for like 5 years old, which is stupid as hell. As well as the time was not correct, I mean the time uh, duration was not correct for each uh, arcs as I said. But yeah, this is more interest. this water was more interesting than I thought before. But yeah, I have eventually, I eventually have to go and end it. So. I think it's going to be more like three to four parts. Other than that, I'm not going to really do more. I'm, I'm going to end it till the Moro arc. And since the Grino arc hasn't really finished yet, we're going to see what I'm going to do with the Grino arc. I haven't like thought that much ahead. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get watching. <laughs> So the story would start off a year later after the after Frieza's death and Android 18, I mean Lapis and Lazuli getting revived. Now uh, it has been a year and Goku has been trying to uh, regain that power but he's not able to because he doesn't have the spark plus he didn't know mostly what the hell he did. He was purely in rage and with the Lapis's, Lapis uh saying what is have what happened he really can't define what the hell he was doing so he's still uh at a dead peak but a help is coming so uh, a year like as i said a year passes after frieza's death but that's when someone comes to their household now their house is still in mouth pipe also because android 18 wanted uh some uh, Goku to feel at peace with being near his grand, his old house and uh, I mean come on they can like fly super fast so they just need to go to their uh, company for I don't know they can just fly and go there so it's not that big of a deal but yeah the company is blossoming if you guys are like interested about uh, the Sun Sun Enterprise it's blossoming and not rivaling uh, capsule cup because capsule cup was there for year long years what is the number second most uh, company like yeah anyways uh, there would be a visitor in the sun family's house who would have blonde hair a scar on his left eye and he would wear a gi similar to goku and his energy would feel very similar to uh, all of them and when it takes a while to figure out but they realize that it's similar to Gohan shockingly similar and that person introduces himself his name is Sung Gohan the son of well Goku and Lazuli now everyone is confused but that's when he explains he's come from the future where where the place is hell so he came back with the time traveling machine created by Boma, so he could uh, well save the his timeline or well save the world more or less because he can't do anything. When Goku asks to explain, well, Goku Gohan does. 
so let's go to the alternate universe where where future gohan is from in that uh, future gohan goku uh, succumbs to the hard virus and dies now you here, here you might be thinking because goku did not go to yard right it the goku could not contract the hard virus but there's also another theory that goku wild life that he had like they like he had lived during before meeting bulma it would uh, kind of have uh, given him the art virus which would be developing until it he would well die so that's the other theory and i'm going with the second theory so yeah goku would die and gohan would be training or the future gohan would be uh, training to become the next protector of earth because that was his father's job which he passed on to him while dying meaning the the androids would come and they would be android 13 14 and 15 now these androids are especially uh, weirder because well they have personalities but they are not androids they are more cyborgs so and plus these and the cyborgs or androids i'm going to call them right now androids are much stronger than, than the z fighters have expected and quickly the humans are killed more piccolo skilled meaning kami is killed and the dragon balls are useless what about dende well dende was learning to be uh, like training up to be kami's apprentice but since kami died and dende uh, did not have the time to create another dragon it's not realistic uh, dende is also killed eventually found out and killed so the earth is left without any dragon balls go and the two dandrites are survivors but they also are eventually hunted down and killed la lazuli makes go on flee while getting attacked by the androids making her dead this causes go on to get in rage and finally the form that he has been training for for years he gets it that being super sane but he also notices that it is not as powerful as uh, well what he thought when he f- fights the androids again because he doesn't get the same powers that he got and he since he doesn't have anyone to help with it he has to like, learn it on his own so he masters super saiyan like he doesn't go like grade 2 grade 3 or grade 4 he's still in grade 1 but he masters grade 1 so anyways Uh, he would meet up with bulma after long years and she would be developing a time travel machine to well send gohan back into time this would cause uh, gohan to kind of come back in time to make sure that uh, the timeline is the earth is be uh, the earth would be safe so uh, by goku being there because goku being there he might be able to access the form again which he used against freeza he so yeah go on has that hope so now let's come to the present timeline after hearing this uh, the sun family is kind of well disgusted about me fear fearful about what happened but they would promise themselves to train and be ready uh, android uh, i mean lapis and lazuli quickly fly away with all with like, goku and the two gohans flying with them and they reach dr jiro's lab which would be empty there would be some blood marks over here and there which would not lead anywhere because i think it was around a decade not around it was a little less than a decade when the androids or lapis and lazuli rebelled against dr jiro and he survived so he moved his base anywhere if the androids came looking for him so yeah so they don't know where the uh, dr jiro is meaning they have to like wait and see when the androids are going to come gohan gives the heart medicine to goku and reminds him to eat it while he will come 3 years later so well he could help them fight the androids and maybe change his future and thus he goes back and since well Lazuli knows about her husband dying against the damn heart virus and his fu- and her future son or her son came from back to the future to save well Goku her husband she would force even she would uh, make uh, Goku eat uh, the heart medicine even if forcefully meaning Goku never contracts the heart med- heart virus 
that's a good for the z fighters and the z fighters are also informed uh, so they begin their own training with piccolo doing meditations instead of sparring with the group meaning he's a bit weaker he's around the same level as in canon because he is already a uh, stronger fighter than in canon so he, even if he doesn't train with goku and gains like become strong me it would mean that uh, piccolo would kind of uh, be the same power as his canonical self after the three years counterpart now the diff- now even android uh, labus and lazuli would join in the training with goku and gohan and first goku would decide to well show gohan the ropes to ikari and since goku knows how to do the power ball from watching vegeta he just throws a power ball makes go han like go ozaru and also uses gohan's ozaru form as a training partner to further develop his uh, super saiyan form which uh, a future gohan showed him how to do it so he kind of has a feeling how to do it so he kind of mim- mimics it causing him to have the super saiyan form but he does realize that it is not as strong as it should be maybe it's like a toned down version of it uh, goku doesn't even uh, for a moment think that it is a mixture of two forms it should kind of come to bite in his ass later but yeah anyways go 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 teach gohan the kai form and gohan would learn the kai form a lot easier than goku would because Goku had to learn it from scratch but since Gohan as a person who is very adept at uh, Ikari teaching him it is easy for Gohan to learn about it so the 3 years would pass with Goku mastering super saiyan like grade 1 instead of grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 but he does know that about grade 2 and grade 3 like he knows the uh, uh, future not future versions uh, ev- ev- evolution versions of the uh, super saiyan but he hasn't tried them yet and well most probably never but anyways goku uh, and what about gohan gohan's uh, potential will skyrocket when he learns the ikari because while gohan fights he he gets stronger while all ikari uses does but he gets more and more stronger than goku would do because gohan is a hybrid meaning his uh, potential is higher than as normal saint and his ikari would also be much powerful meaning gohan would not grow as fast as broly not even close come, come on broly went from base vegeta level to so to come on super uh, gogeta level base vegeta level to base gogeta level i mean yeah be, uh, gogeta was playing with broly the entire time during that movie he didn't even need to go super sin he could have just finished it in a in his base form so yeah yeah as i said gohan's potential would as i said gohan's would, potential would be there and he wouldn't have infinite energy because that's just like installment inside of uh, uh, eight, uh the androids if you guys are thinking that gohan would have infinite stamina or something like that because that's just bullshit as i said gohan would uh, uh, be more adept at ikari and goku would just kind of forget about it after learning super saiyan during 3 years time skip so 3 years time skip would be up and all the z fighters would gather in the designed location where future gohan told them to on may 10th or may 9th i don't really know the date but anyways they come at the date and yajobe gives them the senzu bean while he goes he gets attacked all the z fighters uh, like spread out in the city and yamcha get stabbed by android 12 who is android 12 android 12 is the android version of dr jiro yes if you guys realize what i'm trying to do here android 11 is the like the version of android 19 in the canonical self basically android uh, 12 android 11 and 12 are dr jiro and his minion that he made then android 13 14 15 are like their movie self android 16 is you could say his son's counterpart dr jiro's son's uh, makeup and uh, the yeah as i said yeah so all f- uh, there will be five androids okay there will be five androids attacking the whole city and goku 
and the Z fighters would uh, immediately arrive after seeing Yamcha's energy plumble and they would take the androids to a specific, uh, different location where they could fight them peacefully and the fight would start. The first fight would, uh, each fighter would, uh, they realize that they have, they don't have like, not, they, I mean, they can't really sense them and even the androids can't sense the, each other androids, so that's, that's bad, I guess. But yeah, go Kohan, these androids would be much more powerful than Ganon because the data that they have collected is up to Frieza. Okay, so there's no data of Super Saiyan or uh, Ikari Super Saiyan. There's this data on Ikari, the great ape, and uh, well, the other data that he has. He doesn't have the data of King Cole, which doesn't really matter, but the boost that Dr. Jiro gave the androids is humongous. So when the fight starts, each fighter takes a couple of, like, each uh, android take a couple of Z fighters for himself. Android 13 takes on both Goku and Gohan. Android 14 takes on, yeah, Android 14 takes on uh, Lazuli. Android 15 takes on Piccolo and Lapis. And Android 11 and 12 take on the humans. And the humans are getting ridiculously beat up. The TN is kind of managing uh, against holding with Android 11 because Android 11 is like the weakest Android out of all five of them. So he's able to hold it kind of uh, okay, I guess if you could say. So yeah, he would be able to either, like hold Android 11 until help arrives, which is not there. But let's go to the fights. The first, the first fight I would like to mention is Android, I mean Lazuli versus Android 14. Now since uh, Lazuli is stronger than her canon counterpart at this point, she would be easily, she's almost equal to Android 14. And since Android 14 is like the weakest of all three androids from the movies, she's able to take it around equally but she's still getting beaten, but she has more tricks. She's more of a martial artist in this timeline rather than uh, in the previous timeline where she was uh, like brute strengthening things, brute strength strengthening uh, her way out of it. So she has some uh, key attacks like the Kamehameha, the key blast and stuff like that. She has it and she would use it, meaning her uh, techniques also come in handy, meaning she would uh, defeat or uh, break down Android 14. That's when someone else would come in a help a help in the name of future gohan he would uh, come and realize that something is seriously wrong over here because well there are two more androids so he goes and finishes off these two androids by going to super saiyan and fighting android 12 which android 12 that is dr jiro's android who's bopping both yamcha and krillin all the like Yamcha and Krillin are almost dead, but the uh, future Gohan comes in and starts fighting Android 12. And this uh, bosons and uh, Android, well, Gohan or future Gohan is stronger than Android, so, yeah, stronger than Android 12, and he's easily able to break his uh, break his will and uh, key absorbing thingy, and he's able to easily defeat. Uh, Dr. Jiro's Android and yeah, let's go to the other fights now Piccolo and uh, uh, La Lazuli Lapis I mean Lapis would fighting Android 15 and with their teamwork which they have like developed over the years with training each other during the Saiyan Saga they have like developed over the years uh, they, are, they are able to defeat Android 15 but barely but the main fight is between Gohan Goku and Android 13. Goku and Android 13 are, are around equal levels with Gohan being mostly supporting with the Sikari form but he gets stronger and stronger as the time passes on. Uh, but Android 13 is able to swat Gohan around uh, to get uh, Gohan uh, to get Gohan mad but when he re but when Android 13 realizes that his two partners are well defeated he may he like gets away from Goku who's fighting him and he absorbs the parts with the uh, parts of you could say yeah parts of the android and absorbs them into himself creating super android 13 
this shark's future gone since he has never seen this type of shit before and uh, he realizes that he has been fighting he, he hasn't even uh, fought the real deal that being super android 13 in his future this kind of terrifies him the power that i mean go uh, go on not go on uh, yeah not go on i mean Gohan's kind of future Gohan is kind of terrified uh, by not knowing about the fact that uh, Android 15 and Android 14 can merge with Android 13 creating the Super Android 13 but yeah Gohan present one that is is uh, like mad and he st- tries to fight uh, Super Android 13 but uh, Super Android 13 like swats away him and this guy finally uh, puts pushes Gohan over the edge and he uh, finally unlocks super saiyan which has been he, which he has been training with this kind of which he has been kind of training with his father but this is added on top of ikari and oh boy oh boy the power is huge like as i said a 500 times multiplier but the damage is also huge in his body and goku seeing this realizes where the hell the power that power came from it is a combination between uh, super saiyan and ikari which he hasn't even thought of So go present Gohan goes Ikari Super Saiyan for the first time and the go goes and starts fighting Super 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 Android 13 now due to Super Android 13's uh, like uh, process to grow his first he's equal to that of uh, Ikari Super Saiyan go Gohan but since Gohan is getting weaker and go 13 is getting stronger is easily able to like out outsmart or out push the android but that's when goku comes in adding ikari on top of it and since goku's ma has a very good uh, adaptation with a uh, very good control over ikari as well as super saiyan mixing it's not that difficult for him causing goku to uh, reactivate his ikari super saiyan form for the second time and goku starts fighting but he do does realize that he's kind of enraged while you're using ikari and super saiyan since both of them are raged uh, forms but he's able to control it a lot better than he did previously uh, and even present gohan kind of like left uh, fell himself and said his rage so yeah goku would go ikari super saiyan and would fight because say Super Android 13, who's equal to him, as I say. Uh, but eventually, this fight would go on with both of them growing stronger at equal rates. And honestly, the the thing is here is the thing that's the the deciding factor here is the infinite energy. And since Goku doesn't have infinite energy, as well as he has suffered damage during his original fight with Android 13, he eh, he is defeated. But he's not killed. because gohan a future gohan jumps in front uh, jumps and kicks uh, and right 13 to save his father and all the z fighters well retreat now they need to have a new plan and goku suggests well why not well then goku suggests why not uh, you go to the hyperbolic time chamber now there's only one android remaining that's being that is super android 13 who goes around and tries to find goku He doesn't have any interest in like destroying cities like both Android 17 and Android 18 did, meaning casualties are a lot less. But someone with a tail and a green tint to his body is lurking around. Now, who is this? You might ask. Well, you will see what I mean. So Goku, well, after getting a sense of being and getting a small, a little bit higher Zenkai, and Gohan also getting a little bit higher Zenkai. Both of them, I mean. Goku would uh, take the give the suggestion of the hyperbolic time chamber, which everyone would agree. I mean, the six people that are there—that being the two Gohans, Goku, the twins, and Piccolo. The humans doesn't really don't really matter at this point. I mean, they won't really matter at the from the Frieza saga anymore, especially in this saga and the later sagas. They just don't matter anymore. So, anyways. uh all all five or six or nine you could say yeah the sea fighters are currently nine people so, so they would all go to the uh, 
the lookout where dende would be training with kami to be the next guardian but piccolo would uh, decline the offer to go in first as well as the twins because they would like to uh, protect the earth until goku and uh, the two gohans would come in since bo since the saiyans are going to go first because they have the most potential out of anyone to grow the strongest even uh, surpassing the androids by the way so gogo just shrugs and goes into him but ka piccolo has another idea so he goes to kami and asks him to fuse and kami of course does because he is already has a successor to him and so he says goodbye to all of them dende most especially and he would fuse with piccolo creating a nameless warrior who would go who would feel an ominous chakra uh, i mean a uh, fuck ominous key and he would sense it on a city which doesn't have any signature uh, signatures for you could say here uh, signatures for i mean any key signature so he would go there and investigate where he would meet cell now since this piccolo uh, didn't train with goku during the 3 years he would be relatively the same power level as his canonical self who has trained with goku for the 3 years meaning his power boost would still be the same causing this piccolo to be at the same power level as his canonical self meaning when he and cell who was introduced fight piccolo uh, cell is still able to as a uh, escape with solar flare now, who is the cell actually you see a cell who is going to absorb android super super android 13 to become some bullshit no this is a future cell yeah this is the future cell who is who wants to absorb the two androids that being android 17 and android 18 or in our case android 9 and android 10 being lapis and lazuli so he would go and absorb some people i mean cell would and he would start also tracking down the two androids now uh, piccolo and both the androids would track down super android 13 and he all all three of them would go and face him now since go as i said super android 13 is stronger than all three of them so he would start fighting with his processor with and with the help of his, his process super android 13 is growing in the stronger rate and the uh, androids are really not able to do much instead of just hold mostly but that's when someone comes in and that is cell now a day has passed in the hyperbolic time chamber with all three uh, all three saints training now what of their training well first it was to help go uh, first uh, since uh, present gohan has this is super saiyan now and he can go like off and off they don't need to f- teach gohan super saiyan but they do need is to teach future gohan the ikai form which it, it, it is uh, they are able to do uh, far easily and more efficiently because like yeah anyways after that both goku and gohan or uh, both the go both goku and the two gohans would first master the super saiyans as well as stack ikari on top of it giving them a good 10000 times 5000 or 7 500 and 700 times boost and uh, hell yeah this uh, all the grades would be also found by goku and all they would be ready but Bo, uh, goku would know that both the gohans have was a limit surpassing his meaning oh yeah we are going to have super saiyan 2 baby but how is go so they would come out after a year of training and they would sense piccolo fighting someone so all three of them would fly off to the fly off to the specific area now the cell has just come in and after seeing this and realizing that well he is messed up he is not in the same timeline that he should have been because there's no android 13 in his database and Android 13 also doesn't have cell in its database because Jiro didn't really want to create a sentient being who was like his trump card because his trump card right now is Android 13. So there's no cell or present cell in this timeline by the way. Meaning there's this only one cell. 
uh, this uh, this causes a cell to attack well everyone in this and due to his sneaky self and using solar flares here and there he is able to absorb android 17 giving him a humongous power boost and while the three uh, the three saints are flying they sense this power boost and they rush towards the battlefield and they watch and they see a tail ra uh, gulping down android or lazuli both all three saints are shocked they just can't believe it they just lost well the important one for both the gohans it was their mother and for goku it was his wife for present gohan and goku uh, just three years ago well sorry four just four years ago he lost his wife and now he's losing again he can't do anything but uh, for gohan he just lost his mother he can't do anything but for future gohan it's a, it's a completely different matter he has his mom has sacrificed his life twice for him and the third time he couldn't even save her this all three guilt and rage inside all the three saints explodes causing them to transform into super saiyan 2 but just not ordinary super saiyan 2 they'd stack ikari on top of it and boy oh boy are the androids especially Ippa now currently perfect cell who's gloating about his perfection and super android 13 who realizes that he's freaking outmatched here bad or oh bad but anyways future kohan quickly uh, uh, flies to super super android 13 and punches him square in the face and both the both goku and present gohan realize what he's doing so both of them go to cell and they will cut punch full uh, pu punch in the gut cell spitting uh, making cell split uh, split spit making cell spit some spit and the fight begins since andra since future gohan is so angry he wants to uh, defeat uh, super android 13 right now so he punches and destroys every mechanical part there is and he's growing remember this go since gohan has much more potential than goku is ikari form he's growing and the processor can't keep up with it because this gohan is stronger than any other gohan we have ever faced so he in a, ends it with the kamehameha and he goes back to well his family that being goku and gohan present gohan now uh, goku and gohan would deliver punches after punches destroying cell but they do realize that cell regenerates but they are not going to stop they are going to punch and punch and both gohan and goku give a gut renting punch which makes cell spit out android 18 or in the, or lazuli after seeing this go future gohan who just came in realizes what is happening so he gives another punch to to the cell to the cell and the cell splits out android 17 or lapis after realizing what just happened and how he lost his perfect cell state cell goes on a berserk state but both goku gohan and the gohans uh, kick him in kick him in the space kick him into the sky and all three cup their hands together uh, near each other and they do a kamehameha of a family kamehameha or most or importantly a father a father double duo kamehameha if you guys don't know what i if you guys know what i mean so uh, this kamehameha would be fired up to cell evaporating him give, not giving him any chance to well create the cell tournament after this uh, the well a peace is ensued Go future Gohan would go back to his timeline and kill that androids. But first, he would quickly kill Android four, 14 with a single uh, with a key blast in his face. Then he would kick Android 15 towards the sky and he would just send a single key blast in his way, which would destroy him. And then he would do a full power Kamehameha and at Super Saiyan 2 Ikari, finishing him off. And a seven year peace would instill in the present timeline where the future timeline goes on its way 
so that's it for this episode guys if you guys like this video like share subscribe do the necessary stuff and if you don't i can understand peace out